This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hey there, buddy! We didn't get to any horror aspects. Okay, good, there is... good. <laughs> I'm like, if that's the end, and it's just like, gotta pay more for the actual story, I would have been ticked. <laughs> we haven't even gotten into any of the horror aspect of the game yet. I, I took it a little too easy on the morning of my day off. I was totally late. And to top it all off, that pesky mom of mine pushed in, pushing a return journey errand on me just as I'm trying to leave the house. Today was the day Rena and Mion were going to show me around Hinamizawa. Oh, hey! Whoa, casual outfits already! Wow. I was not expecting that already. So Mion's got a pretty generic look. Yellow shirt. Um... That is the most unusual belt I've seen. And then just black pants. Pretty standard. Rena's outfit's pretty cool. She's got that nice hat. Uh, an interesting, like, puffy dress with uh, purple ribbons. I, I like it. It seems to be unusually open on the front. Which I feel like that would be the part you would kind of not want it open on. But, I mean, alright. I mean, it, it looks fine. Especially when the text box is covering that <laughs> the gap. They were already at the meeting place. Oh, wait, but before we go. Boop. Okay. Is that a gun in her holster? If so, like, plus 100 respect right there. Is that actually a gun? Oh, I hope so. That looks so boss. She don't have a gun in this one. Oh, I like, I like Rena's outfit in this more when it's in the PlayStation graphics. But this is fine as well. Correct, that is my excuse. Mion has some very weird laughs. Also, she is a double ghost as well. That's the twist. She was just as guilty as me. Rana was carrying a pretty heavy-looking handbag. What is that? It's lunch! We're going on an eating, I mean, outing, so... Mion answered my unspoken question with a wink. That's right, Rana really did make a picnic! Uh-oh. Oh, 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 she really... You can look at that face. You can tell Rena really wants to be best girl in this game. You planted the idea in her head, though. <laughs> you two don't live together, though, right? For what? I did not make her eat that. I suggested it, and then she... It's not my fault she made all this stuff. Take responsibility for what you're actually responsible for, but don't take responsibility for stuff that's not your concern. As we both turned around slowly to look at Rena, our gazes drifted downwards to the massive handbag she was carrying. It didn't seem logically feasible that it would be entirely filled with lunchboxes. Except this was Rena we were talking about here. Okay, talk- use real units! You, you- kilogram means absolutely nothing to me! Okay, hang on, I gotta go. Uh, kilogram- kilogram to pound. What the heck? It's like five pounds of food. Actually, no, that, that's about right. How about this? As the man will carry the picnic. Five kilograms is over ten pounds. I just looked it up. It's true, guys like to eat!
Okay, that was good acting. It really sounded like she was struggling with that. Just from the way she was lifting it up, I couldn't believe that the only things in there were lunch boxes. <laughs> you made 10 pounds of lunch? <sighs> you better not be saying, like, Keiichi, because you joked about making the picnic, you've got to eat 10 pounds of food all by yourself, otherwise we'll kill you. This is too predictable. The only thing that I could do at the moment was exercise a bit to make myself hungrier. Having finished with the pleasantries, we began our leisurely stroll. A carefree walk, bathed in the gentle morning sunlight. I couldn't have even imagined something so wholesome existed during my time in the city. These were the boonies, after all. No slovenly desk jockeys trudging to work on the weekends out here. It really was a nice place. Peaceful and quiet. It looks nice. Oh, is this like an old shrine that we're walking near? As sparsely populated as the village was, you could still run into people just by walking around. <laughs> Villager sounds familiar. My two companions exchanged greetings with everybody we ran across. All of these passerby knew, even knew my name. You're probably the first person to arrive in the village from the outside in like a hundred years. <laughs> no, I'm, that's what I'm guessing. We passed three people, and when all three of them knew me, I started to feel a bit paranoid. <laughs> yeah. She's got that small town vibe. それは自動的に新しく引っ越してきた前原さんってことになるわけか。うん。そういうことになるね。it was a process of elimination you could only pull off in a place like this, but it was quite effective. Hey, did you hear about the new kid? From now on, I'd better make sure to maintain a good reputation. The day I'm discovered accidentally gawking at a dirty magazine in the bookstore, I can expect all the villagers labeling me as a lech by the next day. Well, then maybe you shouldn't be gawking at dirty magazines in the bookstore. Hinamizawa is not to be trifled with. That's not the end of this nightmare. I hope not! <laughs> There's like 12 chapters in this visual novel, and I only am on the first one. <laughs> Old man- ooh, Takazu from the bike shop. Oh, dude! Daisuke Kun. I want a game about him? <laughs> he wants to be an ace sniper? That sounds so boss. Mio. Dang! Cool nurse. Seeing my surprise, Mio and Rena exchanged looks and burst into laughter. <laughs> See, that's why I argue in favor of, like, I'd would love to move to a small town and get that, like, nice neighborly community where you actually get to know people and be friends with people. Whereas, like, if you're in a big place, you're next to, like, hundreds of thousands of people, but nobody knows or cares about you. Just one extra reason why I'm never moving to the city. Guilty. Mion, don't be weird. Apparently, there is absolutely nothing you can keep hidden here. Mion is just a creep. Hiyamizawa is not a place to be trifled with. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we just gotta introduce you to every single person in town. Well, that is what happens when the old people die. Man, where can I find a town like this? I thought about brushing it off with something to the effect of, you're kidding me, but I held back. Had I ever greeted someone who just moved into the city like this before? Thinking about that made me believe what they said wasn't a joke at all. We passed another person. Of course, we were called out again in the same way. Ah, uh, yes, I loved villagers. Aww. Fujishima-san. I mean, there probably is, but not to this extent that I've seen. Instead of regurgitating a prepared response like I would have in the city, I responded with an empathetic nod. This old woman chuckled, voicing her appreciation of how energetic I was. As I looked over to Rena and Mio, they gave me a wink. The sooner we eat lunch, the the sooner we can stop carrying around a 10-pound bag. Rena's brilliant smile signaled the approach of an event that both Mio and I were trying to forget. We both looked at each other. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> Mio has never seemed as reliable as she does right now. I'd expect no less from the class representative. Also, if the lunch is huge, we can eat multiple lunches. Rana nodded her head happily in response to Mion's proposal. Where are we going? Oh boy, steps. Whoa! Big fancy shrine. Cresting the top of a stone stairway, a shrine drawn straight out of my imagination appeared before us. It had worn down a bit for the years, but the fallen leaves had swept up, giving it a tidy feeling. Furude. Are we allowed to be here? It's not like, you have trespassed on the ancient, like, burial ground. Winter ended a long while ago. I was embarrassed for assuming that festivals had to be held in the summer. Ooh. Oh, it's the nice view we get from the title screen. Various colored lunch boxes were placed one after the other on top of the plastic sheet. It sure did smell delicious. It was Rena's home cooking. It went without saying that it would be delicious. But is it even possible to finish all of this? Hey, Mion, it'll take more than just a good view to get this all down, you know. Huh? Oh, what are you two doing here? You guys have casual outfits as well. Okay. Love Rika's casual outfit. That's really cute. And Satoko, yeah, that looks fine. She's the only one actually wearing pants. So, there we go. It was Rika, Chan, and Satoko. Why are they here? Mion grinned over at me. I, I see. This was her secret plan. The power in numbers. You have my thanks, Mion. Following up or when all the places are... <clears throat> Following up when all the pieces are in place is my specialty. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you know, it's just a, it's just a couple things: four or five sandwiches, two apples, two packages of milk, two packages of cupcakes, a bunch of bananas, some carrots and popsicles, and all that. Can I eat two? I only have one lunch. <laughs> Your property? I'm sorry, do you own the shrine, Satoko? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our property. Saiho <laughs> <laughs> After opening up a spot for Rika Chana, I promptly turned my back on Satoko. Sorry, that is the break, Satoko! Oh, sorry, didn't I? Okay, well, you don't have to be rude. Both Satoko and I leapt at the boxes, having it out with each other. Why why do you have to be like this? Or is he just gouting her into eating a lot? I'm sorry, Rena, did you pack enough plates? Did you know we were have, serving everyone and that's why you made 10 pounds? Rena whipped out pairs of chopsticks and paper plates. I would like a fork, please. <laughs> oh, no! Rika looks so sad right now. Ooh. Yeah, Rika's, Rika looks disappointed. I st why, why, does she, why does Mion only have a gun in the old art style? That's what I want to know. Ooh, classy dress here in the uh, PS, uh, the PlayStation one. Rena said as she opened up a thermos. Oh, we didn't see Satoko's outfit in the other art styles. Just then I realized that this lunch was made under the assumption that five people would be eating. It didn't change how much there was, but the implication behind it was different. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> okay, well, I must say, I definitely do like... I definitely do like all of these uh, CGs. This is pretty amazing. Maybe they took the guns out? Boo! I want the guns. I want the guns. It's a horror game. We gotta have the guns. What the heck is with Keiichi's pose right here? He's like, I'm king of the world. <laughs> Satoko's like, ah, I want the sushi, even though she said I want the hamburger. Uh huh. <laughs> I want all the dangerous weapons. All of them. I did not get nearly enough action in Fruit of Grisea based on how much we played. I gotta have more here. It was a tough battle. Blocking her with the full momentum and an elbow in the opening moves, Satoko appeared to have the upper hand, but the difference in our proficiency with chopsticks proved to be fatal and gave me the upper hand. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what a ham. Satoko and I amiably began choking each other at the same time, falling backwards and spasming. What? Spasming is not a word. <laughs> what? That's spasming? That's I don't think that that's a word. I think the word is spazzing out. The heck? What is wrong with these people? They're like, you ate the meatball. They're just like choking each other. Also, we're, like, several years older than she is, so this is weird. Rika-chan patted me on the head to clear it, even though I, I, it was actually stuck in my throat. Oh, see, that's what happens when you choke on the meatballs. Seeing that made Rena blush and breathe heavily in excitement. It was almost like flowers were floating all around her. Mion advised Rena to refrain from saying anything that could get her locked up. <laughs> this is how our meals usually go. Seems so dysfunctional. I'd do anything in my power. Just so fiends could stay like this. Oh, I 
I was reading that in a different way. Whoops. The intense battle calmed. And finally, everyone reached a point where they could begin talking. Receiving tea from the firmus, I let out a small sigh. I know. What? I don't think that's the case. Maybe. What does your outfit look like? <laughs> I do not. I gotta say, the original art style is very hit or miss. Whoa! I gotta say, the PlayStation the art style is pretty nice. But I think I definitely prefer the uh, remake. <laughs> That's just you. Rena, how long did it take you to make all this? She blushed a little as she said that. With absolutely perfect timing, Rika-chan struck Rena with directly with praise. She looked straight at her with an expression of bewitching innocence. Huh? After Rena uttered an unintelligible noise, a ring of smoke rose from her head with an audible poof. Uh oh, creepy face is back. Uh, please don't. Rena flushed red with excitement, embracing Rika-chan and rubbing her cheek against her so hard you could almost hear it. Okay, this is a little weird. Are these cake? Two apple ra- What? I'm sorry, two apple rabbits? After sticking toothpicks into them, she thrust them forward to Rika-chan. Like you cut an apple into the shape of a rabbit? I need a CG of that. After Rika-chan accepted them, the mood suddenly shifted in a bizarre way. Oh, of course, the mood shift because of her. What kind of a question is that? That's rude. <laughs> After Satoko flashed Mion and me with a defiant look, she changed the tone of her voice suddenly. Satoko looked up with her poutily while talking cutesy. What? That's weird. Wh How was that praise? It's not even persuasion by tears! That's persuasion by cuteness, isn't it? This is a Rena limited special skill. She blushed and her head spun, waving around in circles. Don't fall for it, Rena! Of course, that was asking for the impossible. Rena glomped Satoko and began rubbing her cheek against her. Uh huh. Swish. Stab. Push. Satoko was also presented with apple rabbits. Wow. After stuffing them into her mouth, she looked over at Mion and me with that defiant gaze. It only took five seconds to take down Rena. That's unfair! To think she had such a trick. <laughs> Damn it! That was a dirty trick, Uncle Donald! First of all, that wasn't even praise! Bring it, Mion. Rude! How dare you? The plan of attack, she suggested, was wicked. But if it was the only thing we had to beat Satoko, then... 
After sipping my tea, I started talking very naturally and calmly. Perfectly. <laughs> she pulled out the bag of Oreida fries. They, they, you know, there's a time and a place for that, Rena. From the synergy of boy plus handmade lunchbox, her expression had melted into euphoria. <laughs> wow! We want a smooth Chad move! Rena turned an even deeper shade of red. The words, I can't believe it! Practically written, written on her face. Say the words, say the words, Keiji. Because it was made with love. Of course, Miona told me beforehand. It's been perfect so far. After acting like I was shy, I waited a beat. Next would be... The finisher. <laughs> Finish him! Lena no. Okay, that is many magnitudes creepier than what I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I could taste the love in it. That that would have been the smooth thing to do. This this one is a little weird. Whoa! There we go. There's the jump scare. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> oh, man. We had... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Silence enveloped the area. Rena, face still completely red, froze solid. With a small yelp, Satoko also blushed. Of course I did too. <laughs> Subtle you or not. Even if this was all because I was competing against Satoko. It felt like I had crossed the line by a good nine yards, I think. Then, at that moment... Boosh! It was a Tupperware container filled with rabbits! She just has these on hand! <laughs> Work?! Instantly, dozens of the apples were shoved into my mouth, knocking me over. weird. My head was forcibly laid upon her lap, and even more apples were shoved into my mouth. While she was squealing, one apple after another was forced into my mouth. More and more apples. I'm gonna die. <laughs> you know, if, there, if that was literally a 20 minute scene all leading up to that one pun, that is so worth it. That is an S tier pun right there. Wow, that was freaking amazing. Uh-huh. Satoko ground her teeth, mortified. We did it! I claimed victory as my consciousness drifted slowly away from me. And I choked on 80 apples. At that time, Rena stopped her squealing as she suddenly realized something. Why is she so embarrassed? Oh, woo! I just embarrassed just a little bit! Oh, she actually has multiple fingers now. Only four, though. So she's still not human. Oh, wah, wah. <laughs> Don't you know Rika's allergic to apples? Salt water?! Looking over, Rika-chan had pulled the toothpick out of the apple rabbit, placed it into her cupped hands, and seemed at a loss of what to do. <laughs> it's not a real rabbit, Rika. What the? <laughs> and that's when the violence starts. Whee! That was the sound of blood splurting from Rena's nose. 
That's not how nosebleeds work. She shook sporadically, her head wobbling back and forth. Then, coming back to her senses, she took all of the apples around me, gathered them up with a... and fixed them back up onto a plate. Rika-chan raised up Satoko's hand like a referee after having that plate of rabbits shoved to her. She whispered. Wow. <laughs> Miona's the weirdest laughs or like grunts. <laughs> he still has like 80 apples in his mouth. Thus, my sacrifice ended up being in vain. In case you didn't know, you're playing Higurashi when they cry. Thank you, I had forgotten at this point. It was a fun-filled crazy day! But as soon as the sun began to set, the end of the day really did come quickly. Wow, they even changed the lighting on the characters! For sunset. Mio, so Toko and Rika-chan went home as well. We parted ways with Mion, and it ended up with just Rena and myself enjoying the evening air on our way home. Aw, cute. Thanks for making the lunch. Since we had been walking around all day, I must have seemed a bit tired. Not feeling like teasing Rena, I quietly nodded. Thank you for going easy on the teasing. She's a gentle girl. Uh, where are we? Traversing a small path and up a small hill, the land suddenly stretched out before us. There, what looked like the remains of a dilapidated construction site came into view. A large heap of garbage spread out off towards the swamp. Probably illegal dumping. I recalled it being in the newspaper. Hey, we're at the dump! <laughs> Why are we at the dump? This is not in my top five list of most romantic places to have our first date. Rena's favorite place in the town is the dump, apparently. Uh huh. No, Rena, this is actually the genuine definition of garbage. Okay, Rena's being weird now. I mean, she was being weird earlier, but... <laughs> Rena had already entered that well-known cute mode of hers. So that means that there was something cute here? Okay, Rena, Rena, we may not be able to make this work. She decided the unstable slope with ease. I'd expect no less from a born and bred country girl. My city raised self was completely pitiful. Rana kindly declined my accompaniment. She's just trying to find a copy of E.T. for the Atari. Literally bounding among the heaps of trash, Rana disappeared from sight. I didn't like being left behind, but I was still pretty tired from the whole day, so I just ended up waiting. Without the lively Rena around, the surrounding area quietly fell into silence. Or quickly. The cry of the Higarashi gently cooled the air. Fairly exhausted, I began to feel a little sleepy. Just then, the sudden noise of scattering pebbles alerted me to someone's presence. Startled, I turned around. Whoa! We finally have another dude! Oh, I can... Dude, I can't even tell you how excited I am to see another guy with a Y chromosome in these kinds of games. Also, man, this guy is cut! Dude! Look at those muscles! Look at those muscles. That's amazing. 
Oh, I like this. I like this guy already. And he's got the camera. Alright, what do you look like in the different art styles? Okay, he's he's noticeably less cut in the original art style. And in the PS... Alright! Alright, he looks pretty cool here. But I... Man, okay. It, in the remake, he's been going to the gym a whole lot more. Man, I gotta start working out. He, there was a typical looking photographer. He spied over at me through his camera. You better not be taking unsolicited photos of me and Rena. His body was tanned and fit. That's an understatement. But something about him seemed unreliable, and he had a bit of an aloof air about him. Well, it didn't seem like he was a bad guy in any case. We're in a small town. He's probably not a bad guy. I surprised you. You surprised me by being a guy with a sprite and a visual novel. Although startled when I turned around, he overplayed his reaction. That was my line. I gathered that he wasn't from that question. Unfazed by my suspicious gaze, he introduced himself without my prompting. Tomitake. Cool. Oh, cool. I didn't ask who you were. <laughs> No, he's just taking photos of the dump, too. See, he's cool. <laughs> True. <laughs> so what? You're saying I'm the same as the birds? Yeah, yeah. Adults are pretty slick. All that annoyance I felt for being startled just flew away as he buttered me up. I had no intention of hanging around with this guy trying to get cozy with me, except it didn't seem like Rena would be back soon. But this guy, older guy, Tomatake's son, he didn't mind my cautious responses and continued rambling on by himself. Rena popped her head out from the one of the lower piles of garbage and waved her hand. I do. Apparently she finds trash cute. That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> Keiichi, why are you being weird? <laughs> Tomotake-san looked shaken up by that for a moment. Uh-oh, I responded like I would if I were talking with Rena and the others. <laughs> Did we just accidentally stumble upon a weird thing that happened? Is this how they're injecting the horror into it? We're like, oh, ho, ho, I bet there's a dead body down there. And he's like, yeah, there was. Dude, everyone is trying to set us up with Rana. And then he just phases away. Tomotake-san chortled suggestively, then disappeared into the twilight. Okay, well that's a little weird. Missing my chance to retort put me off a bit. It wasn't Rena's fault, so I decided to just brush it off for now. What? A Colonel Randy doll? What the heck is that? Were they trying to say Colonel Sanders, but they couldn't actually get the rights to that? Also, I have never seen a KFC that has a life-size Colonel Sanders inflatable dummy out front. What? I couldn't tell how she decides what's cute or not, but, well, she seems to want it. Ooh. 
Mm-hmm. Rena seemed quite down about finding a treasure and not being able to bring it back. We're going to help her steal a Colonel Sanders doll from the dump? What are you going to do with that? I want it in my room. <laughs> That's got to be the weirdest first date I can imagine. You take... You're like, let's go on a date. You go to the dump to steal a life-size Colonel Sanders doll and to bring it back home. That might be the worst, the weirdest first date possible. Birds heading home to roost proclaimed that nightfall would soon be upon us. There is no way your mom is going to put up with that. No way. <laughs> Rena, what have I told you about taking giant Colonel Sanders dolls back home? But this one was free. <laughs> Rena staggered a moment as if intoxicated in her dreamy state of mind. I tried asking her in a way that wouldn't take her out of that cheery state. No, Rena. Hmm. Her tone was disturbingly frank. It sounded more like a denial than an answer. I must have appeared rather dumbstruck. Rena quickly lightened her expression. Oh, wait! Oh! Interesting! So she's also kind of the new person here. I guess that would make sense. Don't really know. Don't want to talk about it. That was the kind of feeling she gave me. Thinking about it, of course, it would be like that. This wasn't the type of thing that girls would enjoy talking about. It was quite a disturbing incident. They still haven't found one of the arms. If it's just like Tomotake-san said, then I had a feeling only the Higurashi would know. There, now we start getting into the good stuff. That's how it's gonna be. Now it feels like we're really starting Higurashi when they cry. We are getting kind of this disturbing mystery that's slowly going to start unraveling, I guess. New tips unlocked! My Bara Manor and the Damn Sight Murder. Okay, let's view the new tips. Alright, let's start with the Maibara Manor. So this is our house, right? I am fragrantly, fragrantly rich, not stinking rich. <laughs> yeah, well, you went to Chuck E. Cheese in the limo, and that's why everybody was wondering. <laughs> also, it would not surprise me if Mion was a gold digger. <laughs> Directive. Ten bucks? For a monthly income? Keep in mind, this was back in 1983, so ten bucks would have bought you a whole lot more. Or maybe, you know, you can be rich and still live a relatively humble life. Just ask Gandhi. What are they talking about? To be asked out of nowhere how much I get and when, <laughs> when told that's a plebeian amount? <laughs> Keiji, how plebeian of you. You don't make $100 a month in your allowance. <laughs> Rena seemed to have picked up on my dubious expression and started giggling. Kei-chan is a very big well, just because I'm not rich doesn't mean my parents aren't rich. My dad's Picasso. No, my Bara Manor? I guess in a small town of 50 people, uh, like, there's not a whole lot to talk about. I see. Now I get it. Well, the frame of it is huge. I see how it would cause some misunderstandings. 
お家を建てるのにお金をかけすぎて貧乏になってしまったと考えてますのよ。We're not broke, Satoko! 貧乏でかわいそうかわいそうです。m i k a c h a n took pity on me as she patted my head. I go from being treated like a millionaire to a beggar. Oh, I'm so poor. They're middle class. Well, where I'm from, they do say the bigger your house, the more prosperous you are. Depends on where you live. The reason the house is so big is because dad's studio is in it, too. Okay, so, he, so his dad is like a Da Vinci kind of painter and not like a carpenter kind of painter. There are a bunch of different workshops, and a lot of his works are hung up in different places. All of them are huge, too. For those reasons, the family actually only uses a third of the house for day to day living. He planned it out so that people in cars could come and see the gallery he opens up in the house someday. By the way, the entranceway Mion is talking about is the one for the studio, and is normally sealed off. The entranceway the Maibara family actually uses is a very plain and simple one. The interior is much different from how it looks on the outside. ぜひ今度ケイちゃんの家を探検してみたいよなお金持ちじゃないと主張しながらもあの邸宅。Sounds like Mion really wants to come over and spend a little time with us. 一体何が隠されているのか。か、可愛い,いものが隠されてるといいな。We gotta make sure Rena's not gonna take any of the paintings back, though. きっと家具を買うお金もなくなってて、殺風景な部屋がいっぱいなのですわ。Why does Rena smiling in the last one but not in any of the other ones? Seems like their imaginations were just piling on. Well, sometime in the near future, it wouldn't be too bad to invite them all to my house. Dad is a sucker for the ladies, so he might even let them look around his studio. The cry of the Higarashi crescendoed as the sky towered over everything. It was hot, but the air was clear. It smelled like the beginning of summer. Alright, the damn sight murder dismemberment newspaper edition. This one's actually fitting for the background music. I want to more, know more about this. Is this just a newspaper? From the June XX 1979 edition. So this is several years before the game takes place. The Shishibone City Okinomaya Police Station. June XX late at night. Suspects redacted, 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 redacted were arrested on suspicion of murder and improper disposal of a corpse. The main offender, redacted, has been added to the wanted lists nationwide. Ooh, love the music. According to our sources, the six suspects were at the Hinamizawa Dam construction site workroom on the redacted of 9 p.m., where they are suspected to have assaulted and murdered the site overseer redacted as a group, dismembering his body and hiding it. On the XX at 8 o'clock in the morning, a report was filed by the Shishibone City Hospital in which a male suspect alluded to having murdered Mr. Redacted. When questioned at the police station, the individual confessed to the crime. Since a portion of the body was recovered at the location he gave, he was arrested that afternoon on suspicion of murder and mutilation of a corpse. The rest of the suspects were arrested in the same day, but the main culprit is still at large. Police are currently on his trail. The motive is purported to be a drunken verbal dispute during which he killed the victim in a fit of anger. So, would that be manslaughter, but not premeditated? That would not be premeditated murder. However, as there are multiple inconsistencies with their testimonies, the investigation is ongoing. Interesting. Well, well. Very interesting. And I do believe that is a good time to finish the stream for today. 
So that was a pretty interesting... This is going to be an interesting visual novel. I like what I see this far. I definitely think I like it more than Grisea at the current moment. So I'm happy with that. The characters seem interesting, and it seems... Yeah, it seems like this is going to be a pretty fun time. Pretty interesting, and it looks like we're finally going to start getting into the horror-related aspects of everything, which I can definitely get behind that. So yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. We will try to stream this again next weekend, probably on a Saturday. And we'll continue with Backyard Baseball and Carmen on Monday of next week. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.